Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going to show you how to reach the Temple of uh, Specialization in Asheron's Call. So before we get started, as I'm running there, I'll tell you a little bit about the temple. Uh, well first, I gotta figure out why I'm lagging, which uh, it actually should go away pretty soon. But the Temple of Forgetfulness is used for special, or rather Temple of Specialization, the one we're going to, is used for specializing skills. Uh, you can specialize pretty much any skill you want, if it's not specialized except for tinkers which you'll need to uh, use augmentation gems for and stuff like that and uh, this temple is pretty straightforward and easy to get to it's not too hard what you need to do is go to Qualabar I have the route mapped out in uh, my chat box here from Qualabar take the uh, land bridge vistas portal which uh, villas portal rather not vistas which uh, I'm pretty sure is like over there somewhere we gotta find it real fast and uh, from there you pretty it's just a short run it will be, there it is, it will be a little bit dangerous depending on, you know, your character and uh, what level you are and the type of protection stuff you have on you. Um, you know, obviously, if you're going to try running here with a lower level mule character that's overburdened, he has no armor to protect himself properly, it's going to probably end pretty badly. Uh, this is a mule character and I'm fully buffed, so I'm ready to get some hits in on me. Uh, and you definitely will not want to get the mule buff profile. You want to get like, you know, a normal buff profile. That way you get your protections, melee D, missile D, and all of that stuff. And you're pretty much, you know, ready to go. And ready to get beat on pretty much, for lack of better words. So, uh, from once you take the land bridge villas portal, you want to, you know, start running uh, northwest. Uh, and if you copy and paste the route into slash say, you'll have the coordinates in green, which you'll be able to click on. And uh, with being able to click on these coordinates, it'll make it easier to follow them. Um, you'll want to watch out for mobs. Don't run into them like I did right there. Uh, just primarily because, you know, they'll start attacking you at that point, And you don't really want to risk taking too much damage and dying. Um, especially, you know, depending on what character you're on. You might not be able to heal yourself well and stuff like that. So, uh, as you can see, I'm just running. Just chugging along. And, uh... Sorry, I was just looking at my skills, figuring out what I would be able to train and specialize. I guess I'll have to do that off video because that'll require some thinking. So uh, I'm just doing some running now. And uh, you want to follow these snowy platforms all the way around, you know, circling around. And then you'll be able to go down and then you'll have the big Temple of uh, Enlightenment head, which you'll be able to double click on. And uh, when you double click on him, he'll give you a list of like, he'll tell you a spell component pretty much. Like... Uh, uh, I won't actually be able to explain it off to show you once I get there. Like, I have Vervain, which when he says Tugak, I have to give him Vervain. And you want to find one herb, and you want to pick a few different, uh, you want to buy a few of them. Like, I know, uh, a few people that I know always pick, uh, Equin, which is Mandrake. And I always pick Tugak because it's easy enough to understand Vervate, and uh, I know Vervain goes with it. You just want to pick like five of one herb. That way, in case you give them a herb at the wrong time, you still have a few left over. And of course, you can pick a few herbs if you want, but that just kind of makes it confusing, you know. Because and you can just spam double click them anyway, so there's really no reason to, uh, you know, stock up on more than one herb. All you're doing is really going to be confusing yourself. So, uh. It's pretty easy to get to. As you can see, I didn't really run into many uh, harmful mobs yet, which is, you know, always a bonus. Uh, I did I, I did bring a character here. I think it was my uh, archer. I brought him here pretty much naked, and uh, that almost ended badly. Mobs were hitting me for like 40, 50 a pop. And, uh, you know, that's not something you can survive for very long. So I, I had to stop frequently, heal myself, pop out my orb and stuff like that. This character obviously doesn't have an orb or a way to heal themselves. So that would have been a problem. Um, there's also a bunch of golems inside the Temple of Forgetfulness place. So uh, that's definitely something, you know, another reason you'd want armor and proper protection for your character. But uh, I'll be able to show you inside there just in a moment because we're circling around this and then the head will be right there. And then I can give you a like quick little breakdown of how it works with the head and uh, stuff like that. Now, in order to reach the Temple of Specialization here, you'll want to go to uh, the town network, which, you know, you can obviously reach from any town. And uh, you want to go to the Garudian side, and as from there, you want to go to Qualabar, like I said. Now, here's the Temple of Enlightenment head. 
Now what you want to do is just pretty much double click him and see how he says, bring me the essence of Kruath and I will let you pass. Whatever essence, whatever one you chose, you want to keep double clicking him until he says which one it is. So Tugak, I, that's mine with Vervain, hand it to him and boom, I enter portal space and I'm inside the temple. Now he says, once you have chosen your path, follow it with conviction. What this means is once you pick a path, either right or left, follow all rights, do all rights. So I'm going to do a right here, jump down, I'm going to do another right here. If you don't do all rights or all lefts, depending on what path you choose, you're going to be ported out of the instance and you'll have to, you know, re-give him a spell component and pretty much, you know, port back in and rerun through. Oh noes. I hate being ported back in this game. One of the most frustrating, annoying things ever. So, uh, right here in this room, this is pretty much where everything takes place and everything happens. You have uh, the portal out, and then you have, where is it? It's over here, I think. The Servant of Enlightenment. Double-click this statue, and it's going to give you this token of modification. With that token of modification, you'll be able to visit one of these uh, statues all over the room, pretty much. And depending on which one you, you would like, you can specialize your skill from there. It's extremely straightforward and uh, extremely easy to figure out. Like, say, you know, leadership. I think I already trained leadership. Yes, I did. Now, uh, I want to train leadership because I want more XP from my vassals. Hand him this token, and he's going to give me one back. Double-click it, and it says, specialize leadership for two skill credits. Bam, I specialize leadership for two skill credits. Now, my skill was 80 in leadership, and now it is... 104 so I got like 40 some points just from a uh, specializing leadership, which is you know great for Mules because now I'm obviously going to be making more XP from my vassal and uh, I'll Have more XP for myself as it is so uh, you just really want to keep visiting the servant of enlightenment here uh, picking what you would like to specialize and then going throughout this uh, area and you know just continue keep specializing and specializing and specializing everything until you're done you won't be able to specialize uh, your tinkers here like I said earlier on in the video because you ha you have to pretty much do that elsewhere um, you'll be able to specialize your tinkers with uh, augmentation gems and that's pretty much you know as far as my knowledge goes on that I haven't been able to even uh, you know collect stipends on this character yet and you know that's like far out of my expertise range for now so I don't know much about that but it seems pretty straightforward you know you get step ends you specialize stuff and all of that so that's pretty much all there is to it hope uh, I need some time to think and uh, specialize all of the other stuff myself so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did of course as always like comment and subscribe to me for future gaming and Asheron's call videos I'll catch you guys around as always good luck and happy hunting